Amending fences. Yeah. That was the episode. Moondancer. Obviously had a weird obsession with Twilight. <laughs> Same main style. Okay, we just... Okay, we have to get this out of the way now, because we're just going to keep talking about it otherwise. Bushy brows! Yeah, her sister had giant eyebrows. Giants! It's like... Why? Why? It's like that fellow what from uh, Fooly Cooly with the big alien blocking eyebrows. I was thinking Rock Lee, but he was going for the more obscure thing, but whatever. Obscure time. But this episode, it's not one of my favorites, I'm not going to lie. Eh. I just kept like wanting to say, if it was me in the situation she was in, and like, yo, I went to see an old friend, and they were just like, leave me alone, I'd be like, okay, dick. But they away. came back as royalty. Well, if, if, if my friend, if I was on the other side and my friend came back with royalty, I'd be friends instantly. You know what you can get with a friend who has royalty? Especially if you love books, you get any book you want. You could rise to power, overthrow them, especially take their power, with, rule the world. Especially with friendship equaling magic and her being the princess of friendship. I so there go, she'd be princess of magic. I will drain every ounce of your magical energy. And rule this world with an iron fist. Hoof. Hoof. Hooves. Hooves! Four. Hooves! Hooves! Four. Hooves! Yeah, I don't really have much to say about this one. I'm just kind of here to acknowledge it. Uh, I mean, uh. Pinky Bomb! Pinky can spin her tail and fly. I'm just saying, that entire sequence. Pinky Bomb. Yeah. She just. Dives right in with Pinky, right man. Yeah, and they should all be dead. They fell off the top of a tower while being pushed at almost probably terminal velocity, hit the ground. Maybe that shouldn't have been like, oh, hi, Pinky. Why should have been like, hey, everyone, I can't feel my legs. I don't know. We've seen Rainbow Dash hit, hit whatever. Uh, we've seen them both hit harder and still be fine with one. Still. Well, I kind of look like a skull that pump of smoke, but um. I'm just trying to think of Oh yeah, I did say. see it for a bit. Yeah, and the method of get going into books, I would never use that for studying. I would use that either to experience the book firsthand, if like if, if you know I can enter that universe, or B, to scare people. You know, you're sitting there. Ah! Come on, that'd be great. Just flip the page. Ah! Ah! <laughs> just like what she did. <laughs> and they probably Not intentionally, but still. And at first they'd probably be like, eh, I'm not getting enough sleep, I'm seeing things. They turn to the next page, there I am. Hey, I will have your soul for now imagine pudding. Having, imagine having that one kid that really does like to read and then trying to get them to go to bed. <laughs> Think of it, reading is a pretty quiet subject and it's just a matter of flip the page, go to bed! I will have your soul for me pudding. I am your worst dream. Come through! After a minute, I think you get used to it. Just... Yeah! So, how'd you get in the book? Oh, it was pretty easy. <laughs> God, why are you new? <laughs> well, you know, the restrictions weren't scaring you anymore, so I thought I'd try something else. <laughs> God! And that is probably something I would do. I'm not gonna lie. But, um... I'm just oh God! My eyes! I'm just stretched to think of something more to say about this. Uh, Her sweater looked pretty. I itchy. need brain bleach. That's a pony though. Yes. The sweater looked really itchy. And what was with the buttons too? Yeah. Why do you need buttons on a sweater? Like I mean, I've seen them on. I've seen vestigial buttons on sweaters. What is the point? It doesn't look good. It doesn't do anything. Take the buttons off. Or once it was made with a snowman. Oh, and she was obviously a hipster. You know, turtleneck, thick glasses, with weird haircut. With tape on them. With tape on them. She's a hipster. With I a weird obsession with Twilight Sparkle. I know how to fucking take care of herself, which... I got mean, into book war, and I mean, we've seen how Sheska looked before she started working for the military and full metal alchemist. Yeah. But... Oh, I'm just trying to think about something. Ooh, what if she does wind up working for Twilight as, like, professional research? Investigator. Uh, that would work. I'm just trying to think of something to say directly. Like Twilight about sent off somewhere. Much. Much. Like Twilight sent off somewhere. She can't look something up, and Celestia has no clue. Spike, send to Twilight. Dear Moon Dancer. 
Eat all the cheese. <laughs> Eat all the cheese. Before the it is for the state of Equestria. Eat all the cheese. But she's lactose intolerance. Oh. No, I had an idea there, and it just completely flew out of my head. But I just I, I, I didn't care for her other friends. They were annoying. Mayonet, lemon, shine. Two were janitors. No, twinkle, wait, twinkle shine, shine and lemon, lemon whatever. Heart, lemon hearts. Lemon hearts and twinkle shine. Lemony fresh, twinkle shine. They're janitors. Live with it. They clean up after the events in the, in the castle. Oh yeah, when they get those really big parties, so oh. that kid starts to get drunk. There's I feel so bad for them what, after the smooth. Yeah. Well, then the smooth just kind of recongeal. Not all of them. It was still chunks of them left. He left his penis behind. Uh, we need to grow another one. Oh, but they have to clean it up. <laughs> but... I don't got much to say about this one. I got a lot more to say about the next one, which I'm just looking forward to, so... I just now have the image in my mind of crazy Roman-type parties in the, in the Candlelock Castle. Toga! Toga! No! Bring me my Toga! Why are you talking like that? Bring me my Toga! I've had many ales of wine. Ales of wine? You won't question me. Bring me my toga. I have a toga. Is it just your bed sheet with pen? Yes. <laughs> but it's toga. So, with the thought of crazy Roman parties in Equestria, hosted by Celestia, and that rhymed. And she turns into her. She turns into advanced. the mentally advanced version. <laughs> I can so see that she gets drunk and turns into that version. The Yak Yakistanis must die. The Yak Yakistanis wish to declare war. But we're in alliance now. We have already made a quip. We have already made an example of them with quippings. This time, we show no mercy. Just Leave you. none behind. Just you heard how this is actually going to happen. I heard. And I am not going to stop drinking until this has happened. She'll pass out before it happens. And I then will continue drinking when I wake up. Do not question me. And then Celestia I will bring the sun failure. down on you. And then Celestia died of liver failure. <laughs> and, oh, well, that would be a huge problem, because who would move the sun? Well, Luna, Luna could for temporary, but, well, I'm sure she'd get used to it. Luna, then Twilight. But we're getting off subject. I don't have much to say about this episode. I can we can cut. Yeah, it we here. just kind of went into an entire tangent there. How was my impression, by the way? It wasn't bad. Anyways, we'll see you guys after the next episode, which is going to be great. Hail the new princess.